Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and envies, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and you can't see it, but in front of me sit one, two, three pillows, and underneath those pillows are nicely folded towels because there is a good chance that the gun spinning trick that we are doing today consists of a firearm going airborne. And when I say a chance, I mean 100% chance because on this installment of Fancy Gun Spinning Tricks, we are doing the spin known as the border shift. That is where you have two guns in front of you and you take the one in your dominant hand, flip it up in the air, making it do a beautiful 360 degree turn. But while that is also happening, you are going to take the gun in your non-dominant hand and transfer it over to your dominant hand. And while you do that, this one's coming down and you are to catch it in your non-dominant hand. So as you start and finish this gun spin, you should have two pistols in a firing position. It's just the theatrics in the middle that I'm going to show you how to do today. So that's enough of me flapping my gums. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we do on this channel when we do fancy gun spinning tricks is we check if our iron is unloaded, which mine are because I was practicing this uh, gun spin prior to the filming today and I always make sure that I do my due diligence. However, it's not a bad habit to get into checking your firearms every time you pick them up. Now let's break it down into the simple range of motion that each arm is going to do. That is the most effective way, at least how I learned it, and it's going to teach you how to do the one part, and then the other part, and then the final part is jamming them together. So the first thing that I think is, you know, the most daunting part of this is the pistol going airborne. So we're going to take our dominant side pistol like this, and we're going to hold it like so, finger outside the trigger guard and make sure that you have a good grip on the grip of the gun. With that being said, we are going to have it out in a firing position. Now that we're out in the firing position, we all remember the videos previous on this channel where the pistol does go airborne and it is no different except it is now being caught with your non-dominant hand. So you flip it up in the air and catch it like so. Pretty self-explanatory and I suggest working on that a little bit so you can get in the habit of watching it and finding a good place to grab it. I actually caught that one with my finger in the trigger guard, which is pretty cool. Not that it needs mentioning, but that's actually relatively tough to do. So with your non-dominant hand, you are going to take your pistol, have it in a firing position. However, when you start this gun spin, you're gonna have your finger in the trigger guard and you are gonna tilt it forward like so balancing it on your knuckles here or the bends in your fingers, however you feel most comfortable. And that is to make sure the butt of your gun is up and you can easily grasp it while you're transferring hands. Remember, this is the portion that you are doing when that gun is airborne. So you wanna make this easily accessible for your other hand. And all you do is shift it over and <laughs> ideally get ready so like I said tilt it forward transfer hands that's that's the that's the simple portion of all this now hopefully with all the practice that we should be doing pause the video if you need to to keep up or make sure that you get this down to a T we are going to try and make sure that neither of these pistols hit the deck we are going to take both pistols like so remember how I hold the dominant hand side and remember how I hold the non dominant hand side and all I'm going to do we're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna tilt this pistol forward like this, nice and easy, and I'm going to send this one north into the sky. But we're gonna do it very deliberately. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are all learning this together. I will note before I spin this, is you wanna give this one more time, the dominant hand side, 
you want to make sure that you get that flip nice and precise because you want a full 365. You want it to start here and you want it to rotate back and end there. That's how it's going to be easy to grab out in front of you. That is the idea at least. Sort of like that. You don't want your fingers like that per se, but like I said, we are all learning this together. That was the deliberate version of it. And obviously it could get smoother. It could get a little bit more refined, but that is the general idea. Send one upward and transfer hands. This is obviously more of a Hollywood style gun spin. This has absolutely no tactical advantage if you were to you know, do this in your gunfight in the Old West. This is a good way to get yourself dead quick, fast, and in a hurry. With that all being said, now that we understand that this one is just for fun and maybe you can go down to your local reenactment, show this one off. It's pretty. I don't know what the efficacy rate looks like, but it sure is a cool little maneuver you can do with your six guns. Now, ideally you should be able to do this with your non-dominant hand as well, but like I said, we don't want to put a pistol on the deck. We are just learning the basics of it. And you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Not bad. Missy Elliott helped me with that one. Let's move to the side now so you can see my full range of motion. And maybe you can even see the beads of sweat rolling down my face. Not only because we are doing something that is a little bit more physically strenuous. It's also because you'll notice that I try to always put this one, this Colt single action army in my left hand. So all I have to do is transfer it over and we throw the one that looks sort of like a Colt single action army, but it is one fifth the cost. I would argue that that is the most challenging one that you have seen something like that That is the border shift and that is another installment of fancy gun spinning tricks That one was very challenging I would argue that that is the most challenging one that you have seen here on st. Andrew TV not only does it take a bunch of coordination but you are also basically juggling two, two and a half pound pieces of steel. And not only is it steel, it's expensive steel. If you've enjoyed today's video or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me what I should do next. Opened up for a few months now. I take great pride in being community funded and community funded only. I have a Patreon that has been opened up for a few months now. I take great pride in being community funded and community funded only. You will never see sponsorships or ads in this channel. So you know that everything that you see on this channel is homegrown and grass rooted and it will never be influenced by external forces. You need to do so. The content on YouTube will forever remain free. Those of you who have come across this video, Maybe because you like Wild West content. Yet another fancy gun spinning trick. But for those of you who have come across this video, or maybe you just wanted me, maybe you just wanted to learn yet another fancy gun spinning trick and add it to your arsenal because you're a daisy if you do. Think about hitting that subscribe button.